If you are aware of the occasional stories about how there are too many administrators and too few line staff workers in various parts of Rhode Island state government, you'll appreciate today's lead flashback item. 30 years ago today, August 28, 1984, Jim Terracani was a reporter. William D. Simone is a senior insurance examiner at the Business Regulation Department. He was recently reprimanded for refusing to do clerical work in the Liquor Control Division because that division was short on rank and file personnel. The reprimand prompted D. Simone to go public with allegations that the Department of Business Regulation is top heavy with supervisors and managers. And he claims that many of the high paying jobs are given to people who are politically well connected at the State House. It's become the politic, the haven for politicians and their relatives. We found that out of a nearly $2 million payroll budget, 44% of the salaries go for supervisory personnel. And the records show that of the 92 employees in the department, 28 are supervisors. That boils down to one supervisor for every three rank and file workers. Sound familiar? Some things about state government never change, do they? Flashing back to other August 28th, 1982, a mob storms a newly opened Seekonk supermarket. Beverly Shook was on the scene. It opened only a week ago, but the length of lines outside and the bustling of shoppers inside appeared more reminiscent of the outlet going out of business sale than a normal day of shopping. We have to hold people at the door to let them in a little bit at a time just to keep the crowds from being too big inside the store. Are you giving the stuff away or what? And that was flashback. Time now, 5.30.